burger. In MVF Nation, this mighty mouth-watering meat is so prevalent, it's practically our currency. And just a block from Yale on Crown Street is a place that not only serves one of the tastiest, it serves up the original. That's right, New Haven is home to the place that literally invented the burger, Louis Lunch. The burger is tremendous. It doesn't compare to any other burger. It's natural. The best burger anybody could ever have, probably in the country. That's perfect. It's like the divine burger. The divine burger. Wow. I might actually convert to the great church of Louis. And since 1900, they've been serving their burgers one way, their way. A quarter pound of ground beef on white toast. Your only choice of toppings, cheese, tomato, and onion. No fries, just potato salad. And whatever you do, MVF Nation, don't ask for ketchup. Louis doesn't want it messing with their flavor. No ketchup. Don't ask for ketchup. Really? Did they tell you what, what penalty awaited you if you did? I don't know. I was too scared. Louis is also particular about how you order. In the kitchen, Jeff Lassen, the great-grandson of Louis himself, is kind enough to give me a lesson. What is the proper lingo for ordering a burger here at Louis' Lunch? Well, if you want cheese, onion, and tomato, you order a Cheese Works. Cheese Works. Right. If you want no cheese, it just works? Ham Works. Ham Works. Short for hamburger. What if I just want onion, no tomato? Cheese or ham, onion. So you could say ham, tomato, or ham, onion? Correct. Oh, God. Doing better here than I did at Yale. Okay, I'm gonna place my order right now. A cheese works, pot salad, and a birch. Done. Perfect. We begin with the beef. A secret blend of five freshly ground meats. You guys don't like pack them into patties? No. The less you handle meat, the tenderer it is. That's, that's what I've heard, both from my mom and my guidance counselor. Jeff tops the burger with a slice of onion and slides it into their upright cast iron broilers. These date back to what year? 1898. So your burger sitting in there now is cooked in the same stoves that my great grandfather made the first hamburger sandwich in. After five minutes of flame, the burger is cooked to a juicy medium rare. Then, it's toast time. The toast was always this thin kind? Well, back in 1900, you used to have to slice it yourself. The bread didn't come sliced. They predate sliced bread. Jeff slathers on the cheddar cheese spread, tops it with the tomato, and I sink my teeth into the historic hamburger. Mm. It takes a very special sandwich to become a legend. One bite of this, you absolutely understand it. It's like the purest burger flavor I may have ever had. Like a very, very good cut of steak. The onion cooks into the burger. A little bit of crunch before you get to this birth of this juicy awesomeness. Proper taste of New Haven in a place that served America and MVF Nation for 111 years. Jeff, to 111 more.